guys okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you sure? He's bleeding. Are you okay, man? Can you stand? Come on, we gotta get you out of here. You sure you're okay? He's bleeding, bro. Come on, let's put you to the side. That guy's face is up. Hey, put it in neutral. Put it in neutral. Yeah. Put it in neutral. Is it in neutral? Stop. Hey, if you guys have any more beer in the car, get it out. Okay. That was it? Okay. You guys have a good day. You too, my man. Appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. Poor bike's overheating over here. Hey. Okay. I got you. Have a good day. Oh my God. Guys, please don't drink and drive. That shows you right there. So guys, I think that's a good lesson there. You see somebody in distress like that, you see how many people were just passing them? The airbags were like in their face and they couldn't even get out of the car. Um, a lot of people just go out throughout their day acting like other people don't have problems and they just want to get on with theirs because they have problems. Stop really quick, even though my bike just overheated over there. Stop really quick, try to help people out. A lot of people see this and they're like, oh, what a bunch of assholes, what a bunch of criminals. You know, they're doing wheelies and stuff. But it seems like the assholes are the only people that stop and actually help people. So it doesn't really make sense how people want to label us as the bad guys there when nobody else really stops and, and helps other human beings. So I know to some people that might be frustrating being stuck behind bikers going, you know, 50 miles an hour. Um, but if we're the only guys that stop and, and really kind of have you know, eyes on our head anymore when we're on the streets. Then I don't know, then maybe there's something more to be said. Shout out to my boy Dake Wheeler too, uh, coming out of nowhere too. Me and Dake were <laughs> stopped instantly and started helping him. That guy airbag was like blown up in his face. So, um, I, something tells me that that might have been a drinking and driving thing just due to there was multiple bottles up in the cup holder, empty bottles up in the cup holder. Um, and that guy seemed like he was passed out. But wow, look at this huge group I'm with. Huge group of guys. What a good time. Um, ROC has been absolutely crazy so far. Today's still just Friday and there's this many people in town. So it's pretty crazy what's going on. <laughs> So if there's a lesson to be learned from that, stop, take a second out of your day, help other people. Um, other people have problems going on there in their lives too, even if you're in a rush somewhere. If you see something like that, don't just leave them on the middle of the highway with airbags exploded in them. Get them off the highway, assess them, make sure there's nothing life-threatening, and, and move the car out of the highway so there's not blocking traffic like that. Um, 
I don't know why it took us, but if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, please uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me to have you guys here. So, as always, this is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, with another awesome episode down here in St. Louis at ROC 2019. I'm out of here. Peace. She's a leaker. Wow, look at all that gasoline coming out.